What we're going to talk about today is the Affordable Care Act. Uh, we just got the software released and uh, we've been receiving questions all summer about how is this going to be implemented? Uh, what's it going to look like? How do we complete the form? And um, so we just wanted to take a quick minute, talk quickly, uh, just a re quick recap on the Affordable Care Act and then what is it going to look like in the software and how to complete that form. So we all know the Affordable Care Act is uh, mandatory legislation that uh, every taxpayer in the country is supposed to have minimum essential health care coverage. Uh, we're not going to go into detail as, as what that means, but basically you're supposed to have health care, a qualifying health plan that gives you these minimal things. Um, if you do not, then you are subject to an additional tax. And for 2014, the tax is the greater of a 1% of your income net of specified deductions. So 1% of your income less um, a handful of things that you can take off of your income or B, $95 per adult plus $47.50, $47.50 per child up to a maximum of $285 per family. And uh, however, the penalty is capped at the average cost of a bronze level health plan. So if your 1% exceeds that 285, they're obviously gonna go with that. And, but that, that is even capped at a certain level. So if you are a, a high income person, you're, it's not gonna bleed you for your entire income amount. So how do you calculate this penalty if you do not have the coverage? So the first thing in the software, when you're going through a basic return, it's going to pop up the health care question. Full year minimum essential health care. Did you have essential health care coverage for yourself, your spouse, if filing jointly, and anyone you could or did claim as a dependent for every month of 2014? So is everybody in your household covered, yes or no? If you say no, it immediately attaches a form to your tax return. 8965 health coverage exemptions responsibility payment menu so down here this is where you start with your penalty your shared responsibility payment okay and this is i love how they term that but this is your additional tax right now so we haven't specified who in the household had coverage and who didn't have coverage and for how long. So it's a kind of a prorated fine or prorated tax based on how long you had coverage for that year. And so let's take a look at this real quick. It tells us our household income. These are for exemptions. If you um, did not have coverage for a specified reason, and there's a number of them, I don't have them in front of me, but um, hardship, you didn't think you could afford it. Um, you had religious differences that didn't, you don't believe it. You know, you're a Mennonite or a Amish or one of those um, religions. Then you can actually get an exemption so that you don't have to, uh, to pay the penalty. Down here, this is really what we want to fo focus on, the shared responsibility payment. And we have our three household members, the primary taxpayer and the two dependents. So let's talk about me for a second here. I'm going to edit this. What it's going to do is it's going to pull up basically a calendar of the months. And it says select the months where individual had neither minimum essential health coverage nor exemption. So if you didn't have coverage all year, you leave them all checked. If you were covered January, February, March, April, you just select those and then click OK. And if we exit back here, you can see that it reduces the amount. It was 190 something and change. Now it's 158. So we still have partial tax or penalty for the primary and the two dependents, which again, those are uh, a maximum household maximum of 285 or $95 per adult, 4750 per child up to 285 or 1% of income, whatever is greater. So let's look at the dependents real quick. And let's say that they had coverage all year. One of them did. I don't know. Maybe they've, for whatever reason, one of them had full coverage. So we're going to click OK here. Exit back. 
and it didn't change the responsibility. Let's see here some real quick. All right, so I don't know which kid I checked there, but we got $91 now because the dad was, or the primary was only partially covered and this dependent was fully covered. Let's check them all and see what happens here. Yep, it jumps on back up. So that's the way it works. Very simply, you're going to come in here, you're going to check the calendar, um, the months, and for whatever you had coverage, and for what you didn't have coverage, you'll leave them checked. It will then assess you the shared responsibility payment, basically an additional tax, and it will deduct it from your refund. So that is how this is going to work, very simply. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to call in, but we wanted to get this in front of you as soon as possible to, uh, to at least get us you know, some frame of reference and, and how to uh, navigate it. Strongly advise you to read the rules, the IRS rules for the, or instructions for the 8965, and uh, let's have a good year.